let's have the here's how. And this week, here's how to improve your flight. If you have an announcement to tell you there'll be no nuts on this flight, let out a big sigh and have a little rant about natural selection. Then, in a different voice, so, Oh, bloody natural selection, let him die! Then in a different voice, at a different volume, ramp back about how he, You're flying, and God never intended for that! Now, nobody's going to know where to look, meaning that when you later walk down the plane, down the gangway of the plane, right, you can now approach seats and say, I've snuck some nuts on this flight, and then gyrate your balls at the seat and walk away. Now, people think there's possibly three unstable people on their flight, but realistically, there's only the one. Pick a seat next to a stranger. It's often cheaper and you get the chance to open up. Nice for a long-haul flight. A therapist can be expensive or just have long waiting lists, but it seems most of the help you actually get from a therapist is literally just because you're able to say things out loud. So tell these strangers on your flight your whole intimate life story. Worst case scenario, right, is that you get more leg room after they move seats. Best case scenario is you reach your destination with a whole new weight lifted from your shoulders. If you're a nervous flyer, I'd recommend eating a load of food that's going to cause you genuine discomfort for a while. Excessive amounts of um, baked beans, for example, a lot of meat, half a block of cheese. The goal is to make your stomach as delicate as possible. Then, when you finally go for a shit or continuously fart through the flight, you'll just be laughing to yourself rather than being nervous. Plus, even if you're still nervous, you'll be able to take some amount of solace in the fact that you've made the flight progressively worse for everyone else. When you're taxiing in the runway at your destination, stand up a little early. You'll feel like an absolute fucking god, mate. Not a demigod, a fucking fully-fledged god when you realise everyone's just been waiting for a queue to do just that. No one wants to be first, but you do. Then, just sit back down. Don't actually do anything to help yourself. Just make everyone else get told off and have to stand and stress out. The perfect start to any holiday is full of cortisol. So realistically, you're doing them all a favour. Gives them something to relax from when they get out of the plane. Start spreading some shit on the onboard texting service. Send messages claiming that the people on the row ahead of you have been talking about someone else on the plane. Suggest that an obviously married woman has just come out of the toilet with a man that she didn't board the plane with. Get creative with it. There are lots of different people on a plane, lots of different backgrounds and cultures, so it's the perfect time to hand out your business cards and do a bit of networking. Introduce yourself to these people. Always be selling. Shake hands with everyone. Don't let them talk you out of it either. Act like a train conductor, mate. They're pretending to sleep, right? But unlike a train conductor, you are allowed to touch them. Bring on your own carry-on karaoke machine. The air staff, right, they've got their own microphone, so why shouldn't the customers? Realistically, what is it you're actually paying for on this flight just to fucking sit down for a long time and a meal that's almost inedible? You should be able to have a sing-along and a light show if that's how you like to spend your time. If you think someone's being a little bit too loud or seems too excitable, tell them that the reason that you're on this plane is because you're going to the funeral for your brother, your brother's wife and your three-year-old nephew. It doesn't need to be true, it's just a possible way to bring down the volume on the flights, you know, bring the mood down a bit. You might even get a free drink, and maybe, if you're lucky, a pe bit of, you know, peace and quiet. Maybe, even, some pity fueled invitation to the Mile High Club. Bring on some transferable tattoos and a bottle of water from, from the staff. Then, when anyone around you falls asleep, give them an impromptu tattoo whenever you get access to their skin. To make sure that they're in a deep enough sleep, though, experiment with them first. A light stroke, you know. Not in the sense of, you know, plied and full of hydrogenated fats via a needle or out like that. Nothing horrible, but just, you know, a little brush of the hand, a little back of the hand, a little bit of the fingertips, leading to a stronger touch, maybe a, a gentle grab. And before you know it, you'll have a Hello Kitty tattoo on their shin. And you have a story to tell your friends about that time you accompanied a stranger to get the first tattoo. Hire yourself some crutches before the flight and make yourself a cast for your leg. I'd say make it magnetic, but you'll get caught out. So maybe, you know, by the scanners and that, maybe if you can remove it without power tools, you know, that maybe that's the way to go. 
you might get through queues quicker and you may even get yourself a little bit of extra leg room to make it seem a little bit more believable to the staff though you're going to want to spray it with some onion water or something maybe some garlic water so that it looks and smells realistic it's important to sell this one really well to the security staff and that's the end of this week's here's how might as well do a little cheeky advert in it because no one's paying me to fucking advertise on this yet so Mystery boxes, mate. Mystery boxes are on my website at 30 quid a pop. Got some hairy danglers which are made out of rat skin and that. They're a tenner. You can pop them on the rear view mirror of your car. Got crystals, rocks, geodes, fossils, loads of stuff, mate. Even pairs of mouse testicles, chick hearts, kidneys, key rings, mate, at three quid a pop. Come and have a look, worldaroundyou.com. And now I'll let you get back on with the show. <laughs>